Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to conceal pigmentation using makeup. I will be talking about two types of pigmentation in this video. Number one is very common for people having brown skin. It's the pigmentation around mouth and number two are dark circles. Dark circles are not necessarily pigmentation but I am going to show you how to conceal them using minimum products and the least amount of makeup because you can't apply too much makeup on these areas as it will crease every time you smile eat or drink something. So first I am going to prep my skin. For that I am going to use some moisturizer. I am not counting this as a product because applying a moisturizer is something we do every day even if we are not wearing makeup. This is just basic skin prep for my extremely dry skin. For moisturizer I am using the Bioderma Etoderm Cream. You should try this moisturizer if you have very dry skin. It's a really good moisturizer. Let's get to the products that we will be using to actually cover the pigmentation or in this case to cancel and cover the pigmentation. First is a color correcting primer. This one is from NY Bay. It also has some blurring properties. It makes the skin very smooth along with cancelling pigmentation. I focus this under my eyes and around my mouth. I have these prominent veins around my mouth so an orange tone will cancel all the blue. After this we need a touch of concealer and the concealer should have a pink undertone. Hyperpigmentation around your mouth is generally brown in color so orange is not enough to cancel it. We need to use something with a pink undertone to cancel the brown because pink cancels brown according to the color theory. I am using the K Beauty HD concealer and this concealer has a medium to full coverage so I have to use the least amount because we don't want a lot of coverage from this concealer. What we are looking for is the tint, the pink tint that this has. Always make sure that you're using a brush to blend out the products. A sponge will absorb products and fingers will not spread the products evenly. Here I blended the left side with my fingers and you can see it takes away all the coverage. The best brush that I can suggest for blending this is the PAC 218 concealer brush. It maintains coverage of your base products while providing a seamless blend. You can definitely spread or mix the products with your fingers but always make sure that you blend it with a brush. Another thing that you will notice is that I never use color correctors that are straight up orange or pink and that is because you need to be very careful with the amount you are using while using a very vibrant or pigmented corrector. If you use too much your base looks orange and very uneven. So if you are a beginner I highly recommend correcting or tinted primers or simply concealers with pink or orange undertones to cover pigmentation. Also you don't always have to color correct. A little bit of pigmentation can simply be covered with concealers. I mean that's what concealers are for. But if you want an even toned, very natural and even base, you can use this trick on your pigmentation. This requires very little product. Your skin looks very natural, texture is visible but your skin will look healthy. In the before and after there isn't a lot of difference. It just enhances your look a bit and I love that while doing a natural look. After this you can simply skip foundation if you want. Here I applied a light layer of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. If you want you can just set your under eyes with powder and you're good to go. For powder I'm using the Nykaa Compact in Olive and the Pack 245 powder brush. Just gently dab some powder under your eyes and around your mouth. Basically wherever you have product and there is a chance of creasing and that's it. The only products that you need to cover pigmentation are a color correcting primer, a concealer and a powder. These three products and the right techniques are more than enough and that's it for this video hope you find it helpful if you did do not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye